Sunday morning and normally we would be going to church, but today Braden has a baseball tournament. So we're headed out to his baseball tournament and um, they won both games yesterday. He's got a home run and so hopefully they'll win today. We're leaving. Who's coming with me? Me. Right, let's go. In August of 2013, we came home from vacation in California and Braden um, wasn't feeling very well and he had some kind of odd symptoms. Of course, being busy, I took kids somewhere. Brian took him to the doctor and they did some blood work. And Brian got a call from the, from the doctor um, that showed his labs were really bad and said that he had leukemia. And um, I was a month from having a baby our fifth child, so it was a huge curveball. Good, explode, okay? Just, yeah, I think Braden mostly, he wants to just have fun. He wants to play the sports and be a normal kid and just. He doesn't want the special attention. Yeah. <laughs> he just wants to blend in, you know, and not be, you know, the kid with cancer or, or the kid who can't go to school or, you know, the kid without hair or, um, just wants to be normal. And he tried to play sports and he was pretty lethargic. And to watch your little coordinated boy not be able to do the stuff that a normal little kid should be able to do, um, is hard. and now we've got a routine. We go down and get some lumbar puncture, comes home and goes to baseball practice that night. And we will be done in January of 2017. You know, at the beginning of all this, we just, you know, you just sit there and just go, how, how are we gonna do this? And uh, we're almost done, you know, with the help of a lot of people. People you know and people you don't know. We started using the My Lifeline so you could just kind of tell your story. It was and just a great way to disseminate information to a lot of people who are interested. And some people don't want to bother you, but they want to know. Other people, you know, want to know and- Don't want to ask. Don't want to ask. And I think one of the, one of the cool comments we got in the, in the beginning was, uh, you know, this is going to be a long road for you guys, but it's not going to be a lonely one. And, uh, And it hasn't, you know. MyLifeline.org believes a strong support community is critical for cancer patients and their families, which is supported by research. We exist to serve cancer patients, caregivers, their family and friends, and everyone who supports them. A cancer diagnosis affects the whole family. MyLifeline.org is here to ensure that all people impacted by cancer feel supported and empowered throughout their journey. He's kind of lost his ag agility to cancer, and so it's harder for him. He has to get harder hits to get on base. Yeah, I'm really proud of him. Yesterday was a great day. He feeling good, came out and played great baseball, made a home run, was excited about that, and he's not thinking about it. He just plays. I don't think he thinks that he has cancer that day. He's just playing. He got to go ride his bike over to a friend's house, pops his chemo at night, and, you know, but besides that, he doesn't, I think a good day for him is not thinking about it. 